This video was requested by Gangster Vince and um, yeah, if you have video requests, you can leave them in the comments and if I can, I'll make a video on them. But um, if I can't, then I'll let you know. All right, I'll give this video a play and um, yeah, you can see the car has its license plate visible on this part. And as the video keeps going, the license plate disappears or is out of the video. And then I just reverse the video to bring back the license plate just in case you are working with many license plates. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to blow license plates using the Power Director app. All right, so first of all, you want to select the parts where the license plate is visible. So if I scroll through, this is where it stops being visible. So I'm going to tap on the clip and then I'll tap split because this is the only part we need to blow. All right, so if I keep going, um, this is the part where the license plate becomes visible again. So I'm going to split and uh, now we have two parts of the entire clip where the license plate is visible. So this part doesn't need any kind of effect. So you want to do the same thing, just cut out the parts where the license plate is visible. The next thing to do is to duplicate. Well, you can start blurring from here, but I'll duplicate it first. So you want to duplicate the parts where the license plate is visible. So select one of them, scroll through until you find duplicate, tap it. Now we have two of the same clip. So select and hold this one and then drag it under, under the first one. So we have two clips that are the same. So I'll do the same for this one. Duplicate tap and hold, drag it under. So when the playhead, this blue line is on two clips, it is going to show the bottom clip first. So what you're seeing here is this, not this. What you're seeing here as well is this and not this. So with PowerDirector, you can only blur the main clip. You can't blur overlays. So we'll tap on this one and then we'll look for effects which is this one here, tap it, and then you look for Gaussian Blur. So I'm going to scroll till I find it. This is it here, so I'll tap it, and uh, it has been applied, but you can't see it because this is the clip we are seeing. If I drag this to the right, well, you can see now that uh, this clip is blurred, while this one is not blurred. So if I bring it back, you see now that uh, this is the clip we are looking at. So I'm going to do the same for this one. Tap it. Tap effect. Look for Gaussian Blur. This is it. So I'll tap it. Now both of the clips with the license plate are blurred. The next thing we'll do is to mask this one. Masking is just a way to create a hole in this clip because we know that the one behind it, like the clip that it is covering, is blurred. So if we can create a hole over here, then we'll see the blood part of this one. So you tap this one, and then you look for mask. This is it, you tap it, and then you select the shape you want. For this one, since the license plate is a rectangle, then rectangle should do. So right now, a new rectangle has been formed, and I'm going to just readjust the size and uh, if I put it over here, you see that it is doing the opposite of what we want. So what you can do is you tap this to invert. And now the license plate is blurred. So if I give it a play, you guys know that the car is moving. So the blur is going to stay in one place. Let's give it a play. So, you know, it is not very effective this way. So all you can do is to use keyframes. So you tap on the clip. You go back to the masking option here, mask, and um, you tap on this diamond button. This diamond button is what is going to move the blur. So just keep scrolling, and whenever the license plate becomes visible, you adjust the blur. You can zoom into the timeline if you want to get better results. So I'll tap on the clip again, this time zoomed in. I'll go back to mask and uh, you can see I've created two points. So, so from this point here 
to this point we'll see what it looks like yeah the blur is moving with the license plate so we keep going until the license plate is almost visible again and uh, we'll just adjust it and as you adjust a new point will be created so you just have to go through your timeline to make sure that uh, you do this you keep adjusting it's a bit tedious but uh, that's how it is so you can increase the size as well because as the license plate gets closer it becomes like zoomed in so you have to also adjust the size of the mask okay right about here it is almost visible so i'm going to adjust the position again and then i'll keep scrolling okay i'll adjust again scroll all right so i'm done adjusting so i'm going to give it a play so i can see what it looks like see it follows the car and uh yeah i know it's not perfect but that is just how it works so i'm going to do the same for the other part first i'll zoom out and then with this one selected i'll start the blow process again all right so around here is where you can see slightly let me just tap this you see that the license plate is becoming visible again so just tap the clip under head over to mask then you tap rectangle adjust the size of the rectangle and then bring it over here and tap invert so just create your first um, keyframe by tapping this and then start scrolling okay so i scrolled too far around here is where the license plate becomes visible again so just adjust this and the new keyframe is created so keep scrolling okay so i'll adjust because it's becoming visible again i'll adjust again and that is it so i'm just going to zoom out and give the video a play All right, so that is how you do it. There's a plane passing by, but I'm just going to talk over it. So that's how you do it. This clip is short, but if you have longer clips, well, it's going to be a bit hectic to do. So I would strongly suggest going for the premium version of the app if you can afford it. But if you don't think you can afford it, then it's just going to take you more time. So it's like time is money. All right, so if you guys found the video helpful, give it a like. And if you have video requests, I'm always available just leave a comment and if i can i'll make a video on your request with that said i'll see you guys in the next video or you hear my voice because i'm no longer a channel where i want to show my face <laughs> all right bye bye